Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to set up and use the Asus Web Store Remote Drive. Some people would probably call it Network Drive or Virtual Drive or whatsoever. So the idea is actually to have something on your computer which has a drive name and looks like a normal drive but it doesn't consume any storage locally. Everything is stored in the cloud here in the Asus Asus Web Storage Cloud, so it doesn't consume any space, but you can use it almost like a normal file or a normal drive on your computer with the normal explorer so you don't have to use any special software to deal with these files whatever you have like photos or videos or documents or whatsoever so of course you need an account on the asus web storage and when you have it here and you are logged in here you, you can see on the first page every data you have on the web storage Storage. So here there's nothing at the moment and I mean there are a lot of different possibilities how to store uh, things here in the Asus web storage but I'm just talking about the virtual drive here at the moment. So how to install, how to use that. So first you have to go to this icon like the where you have your picture or account information. You click on that and then you go to install applications so of course i will have to blur some things but you will see uh, everything what you have to see at the end so uh, here we have a couple of things to download normal computer version this is just to have the sync folder when you want to have uh, installed a sync folder to the asus web store but this thing is when you download it then all the files are stored locally and also in the cloud this is what we don't want to have here at the moment and same thing for mobile if you go down we have more implementations here like the cloud connect for office and cloud connect for outlook but we want to have the remote drive so we have to download this here so i'm not doing that i have already i've already done this so you click on download install it and then we go from there so after you have installed it locally you have to invoke this so because otherwise it doesn't do anything you have to be locked in into the client otherwise you can't see anything don't expect uh, when you download and install it you will see an additional drive no you have to be locked in i'm going to show you that now so you have to click like on the windows button and then type don't type asus you won't find it with asus it's a really annoying why it's not being showed with asus but you have to type remote so here we have it you click on remote here and then uh, this thing opens here and you have to enter your id and password and of course the most interesting thing what we want to see is here on the right side we have the pc we have a c drive we have a local d drive i mean this is ssd this is normal hard disk drive but I want to have an additional drive, like an X drive or something like that, where I can store this additional data without using local space. So here I have to enter my ID from the Asus web storage and then enter the password and then click my sync folder yeah, and there are different things here actually. I have three options. I can use it like a, as a MySync folder or as a My Collection or as a, a collaboration folder. Uh, I can't really tell you at the moment what different what's the difference. So I'm just going with the MySync folder, it means I can just put things there and then they are stored in the cloud and I can access them. So I'll probably make another video about what's the difference here at the end but i'm going with the mysync folder i'm choosing the x drive i mean i can choose any drive which is available at the moment and i call it remote drive i could also say like asus 
ASUS Remote Drive and then sign in. And so you want to see if it's updating here on the right, right side and makes an X drive visible. So let's sign in and let it work for a little bit. We can see that something is going on and now you can see the ASUS Remote Drive. Okay, that's really happening in real life. And now we have one terabyte. I mean, I'm on a one terabyte uh, storage plan for, I think it was six or eight dollars. It's pretty cheap for one year. So one terabyte and I can just click on that like on a normal drive and use it. So we are go going to start to use it now. So I have prepared like a file okay, or a folder with a couple of things, a couple of videos which I've been using for YouTube as well here. So I'm going to uh, copy that here. What I've already done is actually that uh, I've tried to move and it gave me an error. So I'll try to repeat that anyway. So by the way, after you have been logged in, there's no way to access this app anymore. You cannot just uh, hit the windows and then type remote when you click on that here again that's not going to bring up this uh, app anymore where you can change settings i think you really would have to log out and then start from scratch by the way it's running all the time here as a remote drive i mean here we have the normal uh, asus client for the normal synced files which are synced locally and here is the remote drive and the only things we have we can see versions get log file and sign out and when we sign out we can the immediately the x drive will go away and we have to start from scratch again yeah of course the files on the web they shouldn't go away but we're going to test that uh, of course that's important that we don't lose them so at the moment yeah what i have noticed already if you have stored something in the asus cloud store like here when you go to the main page and see your files here like if you have already something here it will be immediately copied to the x drive or whatever drive you're using for the asus remote drive so last time that happened in the, it me it was immediately copied here which is a little bit weird but uh yeah it is as it is as long as we know it uh it's no problem so we have this here and I want to just move it here so I can still see it, but it doesn't use any space anymore on the C drive. So I right click and move it here and then I select move here. And last time it immediately throwed an error and told me, yeah, there's some kind of unrecoverable error, really uh, something which I have never seen and seems like this time it's working it's calculating the time but you can see it's really slow i mean i'm on a really super fast internet connection and you can see this is taking really long so as you can see there is not much here biggest file is around 500 uh, megabytes so it's no problem i mean we have a limit to i think 50 gigabytes per la uh, largest file so files can be larger than 50 gigabytes and totally per day you cannot move around more than 100 uh, uh, gigabytes but anyway it's so slow there's absolutely no risk about that so here we have still the information and yeah so the thing is I'm not going to do that, but I'm showing that uh, what happened last time. I mean, I had to leave here and I didn't want to leave the computer running. I put the PC on sleep and logged in again. And what happened, it was in this state. So it looks like it automatically puts it on pause. It had a little bit a different color. It was something like yellow. Yeah, this thing here. So it went on pause. And then when you come back to your computer, you can continue with the copy or move or whatever you want to do. Or you can 
interrupt uh, i mean cancel these things so you don't have to stay online the whole time i mean this is taking a lot of time probably an hour or two i don't know but you don't have to leave the computer online if you don't want that you can just you don't have to put, click on pause you can just lock your computer or i mean you can put it to sleep and then leave come back and then continue but it won't automatically continue you will have to click on continue or start so that's it i mean you can see it's working but it's super slowly working i mean we can access this folder here but also this thing only this action just to access this folder is taking huge amount of time because maybe this function is behind the copy function in a sequence so we have to wait until this thing is finished until till we have access to this drive here so uh, when we think about all the other Oh, now it's working okay but it was super super slow you can see there's already a part here probably not the whole file but a, a part from that or a small one yeah i think it's just a part it's just a part of the file and now the size will increase over time but very slowly yeah the thing is actually apart from the problem which i had when i was doing this the first time it looks like it's somehow stable doesn't look too bad but it's really super super slow and yeah you cannot really work with that as a normal file the thing is you have to really wait till everything is done on the internet i was expecting that this is some kind of uh, asynchronous process where you do something like with a normal file and then in the back asus cloud storage starts to work and do their job that it keeps being local for a while and only after some time it would go to the real virtual drive to the cloud storage but it seems like it's not going to happen yeah why i actually was expecting that because uh, when you use the other client from asus like the normal sync uh, client here then it looks like most of the things are being done asynchronously so whatever you do it doesn't have like an immediate effect so it's just configuring something and then in the back everything is running and it's not slowing down your pc it's really hard to find a difference to before it seems like everything is working and it's just acting in the back here that's a total different thing with the virtual drive so it, it it looks like everything is done in real time and not asynchronously uh, it would be much more helpful is every if everything would be asynchronously and it wouldn't slow down as much as you see here i mean it says remaining time 35 minutes and sometimes maybe you have uh, much larger files this is not even a really large file this is a small file so for me it's just uh, too slow as a remote drive i mean it's nice to have this function but really to have like a a, a big relief to get rid of a lot of space which you don't want to have locally and to have it just remotely but somehow like accessible like a normal drive uh, this is just not going to happen with this it's just too slow i mean it looks like it's working but it's just too slow and uh, for me that def definitely doesn't work so i stopped this uh, probably it's gonna take some time as well till it's fully stopped so it's actually just behaving like a really old usb stick with usb 1.0 something like that it really remembers me the old days when we have when we had these old usb 1 uh, drives or usb sticks and yeah i mean there is some help but not really something which is a decent product for 2020 especially not when we have really fast internet connections with like one gigabits which i have at the moment so it's really really super slow and this is the main complaint from most of the people who are dealing with the asus web storage anyway for me it works as a backup but it doesn't work for real time and it doesn't work as a remote drive it's just not 
uh, working. I mean, I will make other videos about that, like for the backup and other things, which probably are going to work really nicely, but for me, just not the real time. If you want to work real time with such big files uh, in the cloud, it's not uh, really working. Yeah, the last thing what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, put a couple of things here and then I'm disconnecting this drive i mean i'm going to log out so the x drive won't be visible again and then i want to check if it's still in the cloud or it will if it will delete my files which would be a really bad thing but i'm not going to expect that because usually uh, the asus is slow because of the connection but it's rather an actually pretty stable professional software so i'm still not there it is about one minute late and you can see it's just two small jpegs and we are still not there because the connection is so super slow okay now we have it i'm going to the online and fortunately it's not updated in the real time let's see what happens when we update this again yeah we can see that we have these two files now let's see what happens when we log out so i'm going here uh, that's the remote drive i click on sign out i be sure to log out and when we go to the drive overview then yeah it immediately closed the uh, explorer file uh, with the x drive I have seen this in the background unfortunately you haven't been able to see that but you can see now the x drive is gone now let's go back to the cloud or i mean i can do a, just a refresh yeah, and you can see so even though we are disconnected with the x and yeah it's still here online so let's connect again and see if it's going back to the x drive so i'm going to invoke the remote thing here then we enter the information and we stay with the mysync folder and the x drive and we sign in of course here we have also the auto start when system reboots let's sign in takes a little bit again so here we have it remote drive and when we go here we can see that every everything comes back i mean not immediately it says it's working on that but it looks like it's coming back here and yeah so we didn't lose any kind of data we can disconnect and reconnect again seems it's pretty safe and good and no problem with that so it looks like it's more or less good and stable and everything but but just super 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 slow if you can deal with super slow yeah okay seems to work as intended um yeah so it's up to you to decide if you want to go with this solution i just wanted to show uh if it works and how it works so there's one other thing to mention with this remote drive so this is not acting like sync or backup that means that physically the files actually are only in one place so it does, doesn't really act as a, a backup or duplication it's not additional safety it's just making additional space for you uh, if you want to have more safety like a backup you have to uh, search for other solutions but at least i mean it's safe here at least as long as the asus web storage is safe so i think we have been definitely successful with that and that's it actually for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time